When you're installing a new virtual machine on VirtualBox, you can sometimes get an error message that says there's a kernel panic when you're first trying to boot the operating system from the disk. We're going to use this Ubuntu test as an example. So we click on start and we have the ISO that we downloaded from Ubuntu. And so that ISO or CD or DVD, if you prefer, that ISO file boots up and it says, try or install Ubuntu. So we select that we want to try or, or install Ubuntu. And then we get this message here, end kernel panic, not syncing. And then it goes on with an error message. So at this point, all you need to do is power off the machine and go up into the settings. And when you go to system, you'll see that there's the amount of memory. You click on the processor tab, and you notice that the problem is very likely the processors are set to one or maybe two processors. And a lot of the newer Linux systems look for at least two processor cores. Uh, in some very rare cases, there it may be four, but generally speaking, two is plenty. So you change the system processor settings from one CPU to two, and that'll fix that problem. And while you're in here, you can also fix the display settings, give it a little bit more display memory, uh, turn off the audio, unless you're going to use audio in the VM, you know, do the other optimizations. So once you get that done, save the changes, hit start again, boot from the ISO again. And when it comes up to say install Ubuntu, go ahead and click through that. And then after about anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute, it will bring you up to the Ubuntu menu where you can decide if you want to try Ubuntu or you want to go ahead and install it in your VirtualBox environment.